God is going on everyone. What is going on, everybody? Today, I wanted to make a video about the transcendence calculator. So I know this is not going to be targeted to majority of you, but on my stream and a lot of viewers have been asking me about this transcendence calculator, like where to find it and how to use it. So I just wanted to make a basic guide on what everything means here and how you can use this transcendence calculator. I know there's other programs out there that are way faster, but if you're planning on using the calculator like I am, this is going to be the guide for you. I'll have an exclamation mark tr uh, transcendence calculator or something like that for the Twitch command. So everybody can reference that on Twitch. Okay, so we start from the top side. So I'm gonna completely ignore everything here. I mean, this is very important, right? You wanna make sure you're in night mode, right? Because who the hell uses this? Ew, gross. Okay, sorry for the flashbang, everybody. So you wanna make sure you're in night mode. And then at the top here, these are where you select your gear type, your level, and finally the pity. The so grace means pity. After a certain amount of tries, I don't exactly remember how many, you will start to get grace one, grace two, grace three, as you keep failing a specific level. And it gives you decent stuff. And we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more. So let's just give an example. I want to cut my chest, right? Because everybody asked me, Andy, Andy, what are the priorities for DPS? It's always going to be chest to level seven, then pants to level seven. So as you can flip through, you need to make sure you click reset so you actually actually see the correct type. You can go level three, boom, level four, boom, right? It all looks different and it gets harder and harder. I actually think level five is pretty much the hardest one, uh, but that's besides the point. Anyway, let's just let's just see level seven. So this is level seven. You have eight total tries. So what does this mean? So I mean, they they spelled this wrong. Achieve, achieve three crowns in this case the crowns represent the flowers that you're trying to get for your transcendence so you can actually rearrange it so that however many turns you want the crown in a cool thing that i like to do a secret tip everybody is let's say you have three flowers on your level one all the way to your level six gear right you actually have one level that you can have at two flowers so if you're on your, let's say your level seventh piece and you have uh, three flowers on level one to level six, you only need two flowers. You start off like this, right? So you go calculate and then the, the thing is going to calculate and let's go boom with these cards that you have. Why is it taking so long? It wants you to change, but let's say we use it, right? We just use it. Now it's going to go turn seven, right? It automatically changes everything. You want to just flip it back to turn eight, right? Because you want to get the a maximum amount of attempts because you only want two flowers anyway, right? So it's better to get that extra attempt for that two flowers. That is the best way to bypass that. Okay, anyways, I got a little sidetrack there. So you reset here, we get this. That's what this means, right? We have a total of eight tries to get three flowers. The ability to change elementals. So most of you probably know this, but I just want to make sure when the calculator says to change, and in this case, it's not telling you to change, but let's say we want to change this. It's going to say change. You click change here and it will change it out with the next following card and it will lower your turn to one. You only have two changes unless you get some elementals. And now let's talk about the elementals, right? So again, the, just basically, the way transcendence works is you want to break every single one of these gray tiles while hopefully not touching any of these chaos tiles. But I mean, sometimes you will have to touch the chaos tiles, but that's besides the point. Uh, the goal is eight turns. You want to get rid of all the grays. So you have things that will help you. Not only the cards, but also this stuff, right? So you can also destroy the distorted tiles. Those are the chaos tiles. But here, starting from here, Addition means that you will get one extra charge from this change. This is very helpful for, let's say you have, I don't know, like Hellfires here, right? So you have one Hellfire already in your deck, and then you notice that you have two Hellfires. So if you change twice, boom, 
you get Hellfire at level three, right? So these changes are very important to get these stacks as long as you have the cards for them. So that's really helpful for addition. Blessing is also a good one. It's, it's a blessing in disguise, right? Because it gives you a free turn. So let's say we put one here, right? And then the, we do the calculate and it says, boom, use it here. You want to click on this bless because once you do, it will keep the eight the same while it will shift the cards correctly. And then you, you can dismantle it. Uh, all the tiles that were destroyed like this or whatever, right? Also a good tip, you don't have to left click and press destroy. You can just right click it and it will automatically do it. But in terms of the enhancement, I mean, somebody can correct me if, if I, I mean, or not even correct me, but let me know because this is annoying, but you got to choose it manually for the clones, this, all that stuff. Anyway, let's keep going down. So mystery, what does mystery do? The mystery, when you break this tile, it will give you two options. It's a 50-50 chance for either a really good option or a not so great option. Now, don't get me wrong, the not so great option is very, very good in the end game when you only wanna break a few tiles so that you don't touch any of the chaos tiles, but let's, let's just say good versus bad. So, let's say you get a mystery here and it says, oh, it doesn't even recommend it. Okay, the calculator is notorious for not recommending mysterious because it is a gamble. So just keep that in mind if you really wanna do it. So let's say I just wanna bypass this calculator and I wanna kill this like cross here with my thunder, right? Then I'm gonna be landing it here and I'll kill all these and it will touch the mystery. And let's say we do mystery and we get out. It says miss dash out. That means mystery and it's outburst. You see this, this card? This is a singular destroying tile. So it's not the greatest when you're starting out, right? It's, it's very disappointing when you're starting out. But when you get to end game, so for example, when you get to, let's say you have something like, you know, something like, like this, right? Something crazy like this. And you only have like two turns, right? And you have this and you got a uh, tornado like this, right? It's, it's really good because you could use the tornado I mean, okay, let's say three turns. You could use a tornado, use this and kill this. And then now you have these two singular ones, but let's say we try to use a thunder. If we try to thunder this one, it's cursed. If we try to thunder this one, it will touch this tile and we will spawn more tiles or at least a 50% chance, but we don't want to risk that. So we use this outburst in order to destroy this tile. Does it make sense? And then we can use this level three for that. Right? Those are the cases where Outburst is useful. Now, what about the other option? So with the mystery, let's say we burst it, there's a something called a mystery tree. So we click on mystery tree. So we kill it, we use this. You consider clicking this as a use, by the way, right? If it's just a regular use, you just use use. If it's a change, you use change, et cetera, et cetera. So here, mystery tree, boom, we get a world tree. And you see at the bottom right, it shows you how many tiles it destroys. And in case it's really hard to see, basically, let's say we hit it right here, right? And it can bypass, this tree can bypass these cursed tiles. It will kill it. So that's really helpful. So let's say we put it right here. It will go up twice, right twice, bottom twice, and to the left twice. So it'll create this cross pattern with two on each side and then the middle one, which is really helpful. This is really good, especially when you get a clone. So let's talk about clone. Oh, we skipped enhancement. Okay, we'll just talk about clone. Clone, as it says here, you clone the tile. So let's say we have a clone right here. You would want to, it's most likely, oops, wait. Right here, we calculate. It's going to tell you to use it right here. Why? Because we get this world tree again. So keep this in mind though, when you clone it, your current deck disappears. So if there is something valuable here, oh well, you gotta stick with the one that you cloned. So let's say we click clone here, right? Boom, we now get the thing that disappeared in our deck and then we still get our clone. So we use this, right? We do this, we destroy all this and then we get another one of them. Really helpful, really, really helpful. Especially when you get this bad boy right here, Hellfire, right? Everybody loves the Hellfire, which is three uh, Hellfires. These ones, three Hellfires and you get clones. That's basically a free win, right? You get a clone, you get a clone, you get a clone, you, clone, you just 
kill everything. So that's really nice. All right, let's talk about enhancement now. So enhancement means that you will it will count as an additional stack of the card. What does that mean? So let's say we want, so let's say we have a Hellfire here and we got a Thunder here, right? Uh, or let's just say an Outburst so that it doesn't mess with any of the tiles. So you can use Outburst. It's mostly going to tell me to, most likely going to tell me to use Outburst right here. Let's see. See, it does. The reason why is once you use uh, one of your cards in here, the, uh, the rest of the card in your deck will have an effect with the enhancement, meaning that you will now get level two for your Hellfire. And I'll show you right here. We click enhancement, boom, look at that. Level two Hellfire. We destroy that and now it's level two. So this is really helpful. Enhancement is really helpful to get these really strong, uh, what is it, what are these called? Like skills to activate to the next level. All right, and now finally, relocation. This is possibly the worst thing that you can get. If you get relocation numerous times, most likely I would just say to restart the, the whole thing because you're not going to get anything good. The, the whole purpose of relocation, and, and another reason why relocation is bad is because, let me explain it to you, if you use it on the relocation tile, you break the relocation tile, all of your tiles will randomly uh, go to different spots, right? It will be the same amount of tiles, but it will be in different positions. And that could either be a good or a bad thing, really depending on if your board looks disgusting, then you have a chance. It's kind of like the elixir where you have a chance of randomizing and hoping that the nodes go in the correct spots, right? It's, a, it's the same thing as this one. But for the most part, Relocation is going to be bad. I have never had a good experience with relocation. I know I had some comments saying that they had amazing things with relocation. Not me. So with that being said, I would probably avoid relocation at all times. But anyways, that's pretty much it. So we'll, we'll just do a quick, quick demo. This video has gotten a little bit too uh, long. So we'll just do a quick demo, okay? So let's pretend that your cards look like you start the thing right you start the thing you want to cut your chest seven you have a thunder here you have a tornado you have a purifier earthquake and a tidal wave these are your setup you want to always just calculate the first one right it says reset okay we reset so we just use a hellfire too because for the sake of the video boom use now it's going to tell you to change so you just want to change and in your game you want to click change and then you have to probably reset the cards that have updated because we have updated the cards. So let's say here now it says shockwave. Now we calculate again. Boom, it says purify. So we want to use purify on this tile. We click use in game. We destroy, let's say it destroyed these three, luckily, right? Don't forget, now you got to refresh the stuff on here. Let's say there's a thunder here. And now after the first turn, you have to start worrying about the elements. So in this case, let's say there's an addition here. We click calculate. It says change. Boom, you change it again. Let's say here it's spawn the purify. We calculate and you do it over and over again like this. This is the basics of transcendence, right? This is the best way for you guys to save up on a lot of gold. If you try to do this and ego it and, oh, I'm so much better than the calculator. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're going to waste a lot more gold than if you were just to use the calculator. That being said, if you use the calculator, you will have to spend a lot of time in it, and that is trash. I've spent many, many hours doing transcendence for all my characters, too much, in fact. So, this is not going away. You just gotta make the best of it, so use this calculator. All right, we went way too long. So that is the end of this video. I hope this was really helpful. I will post this on the Twitch commands. Let me know if this was helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.